Welcome to Red Hat Enterprise Linux Diagnostics and Troubleshooting, RH342VC. In this course, you will get a hands-on practice in applying the scientific method to a structured form of troubleshooting. You will then use this approach to troubleshoot various types of problems, including boot issues, hardware issues, storage issues, RPM issues, network issues, third-party application issues, security issues, and kernel issues. If I work with a number of different servers that serve a number of different protocols and have shared directories, then you know, I need to make sure that I have a, an account on each of those machines. Well, a lot of the services actually work off of user IDs instead of the username. So in addition to making accounts for me all the places where I might use one, I also have to ensure that the user IDs are consistent across all these machines. So we're going to do this in this class. We create a kickstart file with all the answers in it. And we make that available by sharing it on the kickstart server. And you'll need to know where the location of it is so that you can ask for it as you start the installation. Or you take the same file and you bring it over and you know maybe you've got it on a USB key or you just drop it on the disk in a place where you can find it while you're doing the installation and you specify this same kickstart file while you're doing a DVD local installation. It's the same thing. The kickstart file has all the answers and can be used to automate any type of installation. So I'm going to start off, uh, since it's in the root directory, I'm going to need to use sudo, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that default anaconda file that is in root's home directory And I'm going to drop it here into my home directory as student and call it kickstart.cfg. And now, you know, we're going to edit that. Since I own that file now, there it is, I can just use a normal vim to modify it. 